Today we will be testing what can summons slash autopilot sense. Um, namely, uh, can it sense a small child? Uh, so we are going to start with Vinny's lucky stuffed duck. Since if we run it over, it will not be obliterated by the titanium shield. So, first we're going to test it with the main autopilot sensor on the front of the car. And that is a fail. Gino, come over here with your ball. So, let's back it up. Let's try it with the side sonar. Side sonar test. Now the thing about the duck is it's got low mass and it's also very absorbent. It'll absorb sound and other radio style signals as well. Or I shouldn't say radio, any kind of ultrasonic. And that was a fail again. Hit the duck. And that was right in front of the, uh, I'd say, bumper sensor number two. Back it up. Let's try a different object. Duck fail. So let's try the bucket. The bucket test. Now with the bucket, since it's more of a solid object, it should reflect the signals better. So let's give that a try. Okay, autopilot sensor, and I don't want it, but the nice solid bucket to hit the car, sorry. But um, I have my uh, summon sensor set to uh, 24 inches. So it should stop approximately 24 inches, or was it 12? No, 12. Uh, it should stop 12 inches from whatever object. So the front autopilot sensor did not sense the bucket. Let's try. parking sensor sonar. And not only is it sensing it now, it's also... Nope, did not quite sense that. Possibly because the bucket is lower than the sensor here. Now, the forward bumper sensor lines up with the top. Let's try this one. Okay, start over. I'll wait over here. Okay. Now, if my theory is right, I was actually just going to say it's going to try and steer a little bit. It did. And in fact, it did see the bucket. So the bucket does reflect enough for the sonars, which is the little little pucks that are all array around the bumpers. It did not, however, get sensed by the autopilot sensor in the front. So this is reflective enough. The problem now would be it has to be at least high enough with the sensors for it to be sensed. Uh, now, unless you have a baby rolling around in your driveway or in the street or on the sidewalk, uh, I don't see this not seeing a person. So I could put Gene in front of the car, but I am not. So let's back the car up, and I'm going to test the front sensor with myself. And yes, I did just renew my life insurance, so I am all set there. If I kick the bucket, then uh, my boys will become millionaires. Only way they're gonna get rich. 
Okay, just checking the camera. My camera's been acting a little funky. Maybe. All right. Human test. This one's making me a little nervous. So, first, I'm just going to stand straight in the front. Let's see if the uh, autopilot sensor sees me. Dead center. Autopilot sensor did see me. Although, since I am wide, it's possible that the ultrasonic parking sensor saw me as well. Back it up again. Good boy, Gino. When I turn sideways, narrow my profile. I don't, the idea is I'm trying not to interact with the parking sensors. It's still moving. And it stopped. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go real close to the car. And do it again. See if I can initiate it this close. If it does start to move, that means the sensor for autopilot does not see me. If it doesn't move, it does see me does not move. So it turns out the human body is in fact dense enough. I have to have enough mass and reflectiveness to reflect the signals back. Alright, next, the child test. This one's gonna suck if it doesn't stop. And there it goes. My conclusion would be that the car is not, not gonna see a child. I saw some news reports about uh, someone claiming that the car didn't see their child, so unless I, there's a software error, uh, I personally doubt that it's going to see a child, not going to see a child. Why are you playing with my tools? Oh, you're playing with the little wind-up toy. So, we got that established. Let's see if we can steer the car, something it wasn't designed to do, at least yet, in summons. Now the car does have the ability to make minor adjustments, so I'm going to stand here. So far it is, it's turning the wheel. And now it's stopped. But it did in fact inch the car that way a little bit. Looks like Summons does have minor, minor course adjustments available. However, it is not designed for steering around curves yet. Now, you guys know me, I always push everything to its absolute limits. So, it's a beautiful, it's gonna be a beautiful week. Massive snowstorm two days ago, and like 15 degrees out, and today it's a beautiful sunny 60 degree day, and all the snow is melted except for Gene's rather sick looking snowman. So, um, I'm going to come up with some ideas to manipulate summons to see if I can get it to steer certain directions. Coming up soon, I will be placing yellow lane marking tape on the ground and see if I can get, get it to follow the lane marking tape with the camera. So anyways, uh, final conclusion. Uh, the car should not hit a child or a toddler standing in front of it. And I'd like proof of someone trying it. I mean, unless there's like a software error, I can't see it happening. Uh, hey, Gene, come here. You want to do... Come on, you're going to be in the video. Yeah. Come on. I need you to stand... Let's see. Over here, come here.
Okay, put it down. So there you have it. And no, I did not have Gene directly in front of the car. I had him offside, so if it did not continue, it would not have hit him. So, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> so, there we have it. That is my current conclusion. Um, very impressed. Good sonar system. Uh, just don't leave your stuffed animal laying around your driveway. Uh, it will not, not survive the encounter. Were you eating a donut? Yes. I can tell you got chocolate on your face. No. Say, see you next time. It was silly. See you next time. It was silly. Okay. Smile, cheese.